It's kind of, it's, someone described it earlier on as being the Goonies, sort of like the Goonies, and it is kind of like the Goonies with a bale of cocaine in it, uh, which is kind of my new favourite description of the movie, to be honest, because uh, it's a real sort of a crime caper chase kind of movie, uh, but it's also kind of really sort of feel good too, because even though uh, there's not very many redeeming characters, as far as my character anyways, he's a pretty nasty piece of work. Uh, and the lads, you know, they could be better lads, honestly, but they, everyone sort of comes out of it looking half decent at the end, so. Yeah, it's a feel good movie, like, you know, in the end, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, like a comedy should be. The yacht containing 61 bales of cocaine got into trouble off the south coast of Ireland. The largest cocaine seizure in the history of the state. Well, it's based on real events down West Cork down uh, 2007, where 440 million worth of cocaine um, came overboard on the ship. And basically at the time, like, um, you know, the bales were floating all around the water and everyone was down kind of like swimming or cycling around in the area. And there was lots of stories about what actually, I guess, went yeah. on. And there was like, you know, 31 bales were apparently found and all the locals thought that was a very odd number so this is the story of bale 32 basically and that's how it's based on the real events and then the fictional part is two kind of uh, lads from Cork City are schools out for summer leaving search they see it on the news the news footage and they're like come on we'll rob some bikes go down and we'll make our millions no, I've never actually been to West Cork. It'd be like a holiday and they tried to hunt down on white. I'm used to doing t sort of telly stuff where you'd say, wouldn't it be great if I had no hair here for the scene? And everyone goes, that'd be great, yeah, pity though. Uh, you say it around Peter and he goes, that's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> and next thing, the catering woman is cutting my hair off. <laughs> so uh, he just made it happen and then I kind of looked insane, to be honest with you. I had a bad fucking day. Got over the fence. I kicked by a young <laughs> And I shot an old one. I play uh, Detective Tony Healy, who's a local uh, guard, who's a bike guard, basically, in that he cycles a bike, but he's also a specialist in bike crime, in that he's a man on a mission pursuing these two teenagers who are, who are notorious in Cork City for bike theft. you got to stop them when they're young. He's wandered by the guards! I had a bit of an advantage before we started shooting because Peter got us together in... Uh, um, in a room before we started shooting to improvise some of the scenes that we might be looking at or to even improvise some scenarios that weren't necessarily going to be in the film at all. So I got a taste of their capacity to improvise lines and to... He basically wanted them to take the piss out of me for about 40 minutes in a room while I'm trying to conduct a serious interrogation with them and I could see then that they were very good not only individually as improvisers but together they're fantastic and I think the results can be seen in the film. This is the worst plan ever! Call on the guards! No, you can't! Who's going to cover your days off in the shop when I'm being raped in prison? You're young offenders. You'll end up in a juvenile detention centre. Yeah, there's rapists there too, they're just a bit younger. Where's the jumper out now?